CTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening. We begin tonight in a small forest just south of Nanaimo, where today chainsaws became a powerful tool for scientific research. Forestry scientists are taking down trees that were planted 30 years ago, part of a long-term project aimed at engineering the perfect Douglas fir. As CTV Scott Cunningham reports, the discoveries made in the forest today could have long-term benefits for industry and environment. A fresh cut. A towering fall. And today, it is in the name of science. We're going to find out about the strength characteristics of the uh, trees. Part science project and part tree matchmaking, these towering Douglas fir are falling for a reason. 34 years ago, scientists mixed more than 100 male and female types of the tree and planted the offspring. 20.8. Now, a new crop of scientists is making their own cuts in hopes of learning from the ground what they could not from the air. Science has been working to get a tree that's going to be as strong and as good a wood product for BC as possible. Here, the chainsaw is a powerful scientific tool. Forestry specialists from the federal and provincial governments studying ripples in the wood to see which strain of Douglas fir could be planted on BC's west coast for generations to come. I really enjoy uh, uh, taking a look to see what the wood uh, quality is like of the trees that we uh, originally selected as being better parents. There is no secret on this test site. This study is all about industrial forestry, creating a better tree to create better logs and in turn sell better wood. But there is an environmental spin-off here. Thousands of Douglas fir were given root in the Nanaimo Regional District Park. Fewer than 100 will fall in the span of the scientific study. The rest of them that have survived over the years will grow in this park to become giants. And they're not going anywhere. So. Some will come down. But what science may pick up could create a better tree and a better future for British Columbia. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, Cedar. Yeah.